Um, so this place called the Clubhouse Restaurant in mm. Aqua Harbor, Stafford, Virginia. Now, what they had this thing was called Patriots Patriots Day 2022. That's how they changed it. That's right. the rebranding Patriots of 9 11, right? Sure. Um, and what I love, I'll take a little bit of this menu. Now, people are getting upset because they felt that the menu was crass, but a lot of these mm -hmm. are actually very, um, there's very clever wording here. I like think the. Um, 9-11 oysters. The 9-11 oysters? Which is, I, I feel, again, you could have packaged it. Maybe it's because you get 9 to 11 oysters. You don't know how many you're going to get. Right. I, I think 9-11 oysters are probably the worst ones. There's the Never Forget Sampler, which I think is fantastic. I mean, the 2977 never... chowder. Well, that's what you get. You get two cups of 2977 chowder, which is like, which is kind of sad because it didn't all the people become chowder. Well, and I think it's inappropriate and it's terrible to even think about it like that. Absolutely. The, the flight 93 redirect crab dip. Well, all right. Yes, again, it's a word. Again, it's a mouthful. But I will That's a say lot of the words to put. It's like when you have to go to. Remember, we have you back in the day when you go to Demi, go to Denny's. Back in the, the day, back like yesterday. But yes, you shouldn't. Is that why your tummy hurts? No, I haven't had Denny's in a long, long time. With the moons over my hammy. Right, you have to ask for that. They, they would do that. You'd go to Denny's what? when they, when Moons of they got rid of it? first came. No, no, I'm no, I'm not trying oh. to scare you. Okay, but when you used to first go to Denny's, I remember the waitress being like, "I want the hammy," and she'd go, "What? Is it the Moons over my hammy?" Yeah, and then you had, but to you say do the whole have word. to say the whole thing. Otherwise, you want the hammy? Okay, what does that even mean? You want me to punch you in the back of the head? What does that mean? I don't know. And remember how I hop. Did the whole Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity? You and better ask for a Rudy Tootie type. Oh, and fruity. You see how difficult it is. It is difficult, especially when you're absolutely hammered off of pure and utter sugar. And is this not even more difficult to say the first responder shrimp flatbread? Well, then which you don't also, get it. Th that's what's strange is that also weird. Shrimp flatbread, I dislike. You think that concept like of shrimp flatbread does not mean anything to me. That's not no. that's not a good meal. But it's the idea of like. Ah, just thinking of EMTs covered in that toxic 9-11 soot, and the first thing that they want to get is a piece of crispy, not even pizza dough, right. just shit-ass flatbread mm -hmm. with just a bunch of curled-ass ocean bugs. I love shrimp on it, but well. for our EMTs, for our first responders, I want to talk about this thing. This is a... AI, we're going to see more of this shit, right? Ghosts in the machine. Ooh. Right? As we get more involved with AI, obviously we barely, we, we try to understand it. We make simplified versions of it that are mostly just chat bots where they can, which we we just came up with. We just came up against like that guy wearing the fedora. The, mm -hmm. the, the Yes, ma'am. Like, like literally was the nerd dude who said that he felt that the chat bot system had went sentient. Yes, in the middle absolutely. Of the movie, right. And, but, who knows? Again, it's just talking. So maybe, like, this is debate. What is, what is intelligence? Well, it'll be right? up to us to decide if it's sentient or not. And just the way that the human brain works, I know people who think their cat is sentient. <laughs> so I have a feeling that we will infer that power oh. upon it, and we will say this is. Wendy understands every single thing that I tell her. I don't think she does. I uh, I know. I she don't winks. think she, no. when he winks. she just randomly blinks and you're no. like, that's a wink. That's why you it's made it wink. up. You make it up. That's anyway. It. But one thing that's going to come up, I think, a lot with AI is this like it's little it's it's wiggles in the machine. It's ghosts in the machine. Woo. Shit that's going to be weird. Shit that's going to pop up. And you're going to wonder what the hell is this? What does it say about us? Right. Because if the AI is completely trained by human intelligence Right, like if we dump it, like eventually it's going to reflect back something that we're like, oh, I didn't know. Like when we talk about why all of these things go racist, all of the chatbots go racist a lot of times, truly because uh, I talk about this. With they the look at a, they Gaznavi. look at uh, world history. Sure, but also they are programmed by white people half the time, and then they have no frame of context. Like it's it's this thing, right? Well, it's, if they were programmed by white people, they would apologize a lot more. <laughs> I don't know. I Not don't if know. It's only white people. That's true. Um, but. There's other shit. There's these images that are going to pop up that kind of have strength of their own. Now, they're talking about this thing called Loab, which was an AI generated. It's a ghost. Hmm. This thing that has popped up. So this. Uh, Why'd they make it look so scary? It's it. The computer did it. Super composite. <sighs> it was this, this Twitter account that came out and said that they were playing around with this AI art program. Um, and what they did was that they they wanted to do, there's a thing that they called negative prompt weights in AI 
ad, an AI art amalgamation, wherever. Get into it. Really get into the details of it. Oh, God. (laughs) He's like, well, just think, these set up, basically, you could set it up where you're like, I want an image that is the exact opposite of this other thing. Like that? They're so so scary. They are so scary. 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 So he typed in Marlon Brando with a negative prompt weight, saying, I want the exact opposite of Marlon Brando. Right? Just fucking around with images. And it popped up as this weird logo this thing that just had like a bunch of nonsense letters on it and it, it, he didn't know why this was he was like okay so if i now take this image and i write all i'll take all the the data that's within this and then do the complete opposite of that i wonder if that will give me a picture of marlon brando okay that would make sense but instead what it did was it created this picture of this very haunting woman Yes. No. This, but I mean, to be woman, honest, kind of looks like Marlon Brando from that one film that we all love, The Island of Dodge Moreau. Maybe with this strange-looking face. Maybe. Let me look that up. Because he's got all of that white makeup on. Maybe God, you're right. Yeah, that's I mean, so like, scary. So they they took every image of Marlon Brando, and this is what AI created. Well, it's the I said the opposite of it. Why right? is it she in a tub? Like, in some white. of them, did they put her in these positions well, though, or was the AI like put her in a tub? Well, he kept playing it with it. So then once he put in the word, like so when he, he oh my god, then the haunted. digital thing popped up after doing the opposite of Brando. One other thing that popped up was this: then her face popped up right? oh. when he did the opposite of this of the of the of uh, the nonsense letters and things. Yeah, her face popped up and this word named Loab appeared behind her appeared behind her like it was the like an album cover and so then he's like uh, all right so I'm just gonna put Loab and play with Loab and see what else pops up the thing is is instead of like the other the, the, instead of the other prompt the way the other prompts reacted where they j- made all this other like weird separate art right the Loab woman kept showing up and it kept Jeez. degrading and then if you look at this shit it's awesome some it is awesome. Footage. It's like absolutely they, horrifying. They keep adding her to all of these image searches, and it just creates these scenes of uh, of children being ripped apart by their hands, and and people crying blood. It's fucking awesome. It looks like the most evil, mad god claymation shit on the face of the planet. Well, what's so bizarre about all of that as well is I don't know if you saw this story. It's adjacent to it, not nearly as creepy, but an AI generated art piece uh, won an award. And all of these human painters are like really upset. Oh yeah, I because bet. it looks beautiful. Yeah, and of they course. just like totally nailed no, it. No, it's a this is so a what, weird again, slope that we're gonna get into. Where what, like what is what is art? Is you if you stand behind a machine, if you know how to manipulate the AI program, then you become an artist because that's you playing with it. And I imagine most of the art, if you go to see AI generated art, you are there to see the combination of man and machine. That's kind of the point. I would suppose so, but then again, also when it comes to sentient nature, one of the things is performers and comedians, just so talented. So talented, we would irreplaceable. Often, we would often say, well, they ain't going to come for our jobs. But in reality, if you fed an AI bot every single episode that we've ever done, they could probably come up with a 50-minute episode that would sound fairly like it was us. I've so, already seen that done. Well, I've had fans send me transcripts that they've used yeah? of us, where it's like, yeah, then you just realize just how many, how often we say come. Yeah, because then it just really it really hits to come hard. You, even you look at the AI, so you're like, okay, all right, AI. That's a lot of jizz jokes. But again, that isn't that our oeuvre, isn't it? But and this that's is, where I, all life comes from. Isn't I it? just wonder why it got so dark. If you look at this one, this is my favorite one. Oh yeah, my it's awesome. god, she looks uh, that's fucking awesome. Like a Toxic Avenger like character. Yeah, her face is melting, and she's got three little like babies made out of like meat and guts, like on her shoulders and shit. This is fucking great. But you know, if the AI makes more stuff. I guess I'll find it. The interest. I think it's interesting, but I also think it's interesting. All these people maybe are going to try to run a meta. We just got asked to do a meta thing. Do you remember when we just basically just asked, "Will you make a digital world?" Make I know a digital it's, world. It's good for people that um have. Oh, what's the term? Exclusive. Was it inclusivity issues? Accessibility. Accessibility issues. Thank you for that. No, I know it's good for that. But for the most part, what if more little fucking ghosts start working its way into those systems too? Like you do right. like a little meta meetup group, which we're not going to do because uh, because it's scary. it's scary. It's very scary Stupid, for us. Yeah. But the idea of like these things like popping up and just going like, we don't know. No, we don't know. Is just going to do that? More often than not, side stories, LPOTL at gmail.com. You're some kind of computer genius. Tell us. Tell us. All right. Well-